morning, friends. We are going to try to vlog today. We will see what happens. I have a little one staring at me going, why are you talking to your phone, lady? Um, he's the one I had strapped to me the other day while we were walking. Anyway, I really wanna show you how we do these Easter eggs, just in case you have little ones in your life and need a fun and safe way to dye eggs. That's a little less messy than putting dye in cups. So I figure I'll try to show you that, hopefully. Might as well bring you along for a full day of eating today. Um, and I also wanted to update you on the ottoman. Okay, not one person voted for gray, which Doug was very sad because he liked the gray one better. I don't love the blue one because it's kind of small. So I went back online last night and searched and searched and searched because remember I said I wanted a rectangle one? Found one. So it's coming tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So I definitely like the blue color. I just didn't like that. It just looks small. So we have one coming tomorrow. I, I'm gonna have like a million Ottomans to return, but that's okay. That's what happens. Um, so that's about it. I am going to, I have one little man here and I have 20 minutes until the other two come and then an hour until the one comes after that. So we're not gonna dye eggs until later in the morning after the little guy's done his morning nap. So we want him as happy as can be. Um, so I'm going to get breakfast started for Doug and I because it has to bake. So I'll be back, my friends. Okay, sitting down to breakfast. And this morning we are having cinnamon roll baked oatmeal. And it is, now I forget how many points. I have to go look it up. Um, I want to say it's five points. Okay, that breakfast was delicious. I have not made that in so long. If you've never made it and you like oatmeal, definitely give it a try. It is really, really good. Um, I'll link the recipe down in the description box below and you can always find it on my website. Um, I just wanted to, I have one in bed. Once he wakes up, we're gonna dye eggs. I wanted to just take a quick commercial break <laughs> um, and ask you to keep Andrew in your thoughts and prayers. You know, he's graduating in May and has a lot of irons in the fire right now as far as opportunities. Um, not at liberty to say right yet because we're still trying to figure out what he wants to do. And he's got a lot of good things going on. Um, so just say a prayer that the one he wants the most will happen and that if more than one offer comes in, that he will be able to discern and decide and figure out which one is best for him right now. So exciting times, my friends, exciting times, and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. I can tell you that we just found out the other day that he is graduating with honors. So that was so exciting for him. You know, he works so darn hard to overcome the dyslexia. Um, doesn't use it as an excuse, really works hard to to do a good job. So he is graduating um, cum laude. So that was really exciting to find out. But just keep him in your prayers that things, whatever he wants to happen, happens. <laughs> or if it doesn't happen, that something else will be just as wonderful. So we will see. Oh, Jack's playing with the Ottomans because they're both still sitting here. Hmm. Okay, what we need for our eggs is a container of Cool Whip, and I have five plates, and I just separated the Cool Whip onto the five plates evenly. You'll need some egg dye or food coloring, and of course, you're going to need hard-boiled eggs. Now, this next step is op this step is optional. You can soak them in vinegar for two minutes, and that just makes the colors a little bit more vibrant. If you can get the neon food coloring, that's even better. And then we'll show you the next step. Okay, I excuse the um, Halloween tablecloth. This is our craft tablecloth that we use. So I just put a, three drops of food coloring on each pile, and then I'm gonna take a spoon, and I'm just gonna kinda swirl it a little bit. You don't wanna swirl it too much, because you want that swirl effect. And the kids are going to roll their egg around in it. Now you may have to add more food coloring. It's gonna just be a personal preference. So you're just gonna do that with each one of them. 
So then what the kids do is they just roll it around. Okay, yeah, let me get this one because this one's doing it a little bit more. She's not afraid. That's okay. Roll, it roll it all around. You can, you can wash it off, Em. Yeah, Em, don't worry about it. We're going to wash it off. Roll it all around. Go ahead, Jack. Roll it all over. Yeah, I've had groups of kids before who were all over this. These guys, I guess, don't like to get a little messy. Good job. Say, so go ahead, roll it all over the place. Go ahead, Em. Go ahead, Bo. This is our little one-year-old baby, so I don't know what he'll do. Go ahead, Bo. It's okay. It's okay. Do it, use your fingers. Go ahead. Roll it around. Okay, here are the masterpieces. As you can see, they're very full of Cool Whip. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that. This was purple. We made, tried to make purple. Um, we are going to put these in the refrigerator just like this for about an hour or so. And then I'll take a towel and wipe all of the excess off. Whew. <laughs> that was a workout. They are done. They had a great time. I let them do three eggs each. They're little anymore. It would have just been repetitious and they get bored. So they each did three eggs and now I am letting them watch an episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse while I get this mess cleaned up because it's almost time for them to eat lunch. So that's another mess that'll be coming really, really soon. Um, trying to think what I wanted to say. I guess that's it. I just thought of something I wanted to tell you. And that's why I jumped on. And now I forget what it was. Darn it. Okay, must not have been important. So our day goes on. Okay, here are the eggs all done. I had them in the fridge for an hour. Then I just took a towel and wiped off. This is the purple. It did not come out pretty. It's kind of gross. Um and just wiped off all the extra Cool Whip, and there you have it. They are so stinking pretty. But I hard-boiled these eggs exactly the same way I hard-boil eggs constantly. These are not farm fresh eggs. These are like grocery store eggs. And for some reason, they did not hard-boil. My finger went right through one when I was cleaning them off. So I don't know what happened, but I'll let them take them home. I'll tell their parents, just throw them away when you get home. They're proud of them. That's all that matters. So quick update on Laura Cluck Cooperator. Her leg is healed. She is doing great, but the mean girls won't let her back in the flock. So we are trying to integrate her in. She is so funny. She is so used to being a house chicken now. I told you she's in Doug's office. The minute he gets up to come upstairs to go to the bathroom or um, come up to get coffee, she cries like a baby because he leaves her. So it is time to get her back where she belongs. So I'm going to show you what we're doing to try to get them used to her again. This is the, this is the dog crate we've been keeping her in because we wanted to restrict her movements to, uh, you know, help that leg to heal. So it will also protect her from the mean girls. So we have her in the crate, in the run. So they can see her, they can get used to her being back out here, they just can't get at her. So I think we're going to do this during the day and then we will bring her in at night. And then on Thursday night, we're going to bring her out here late when they're all sleeping and put her in the coop area, like in there. I know you can't see through the wire. In there and roost her up and see like overnight they'll sleep and then see what happens when we open the door the next morning. We'll be here to, you know, save her if they start getting mean to her. So that's what's going on with Laura Cluck Coop Reader. I forgot to show you my lunch. We ate outside because we were out there with Laura trying to integrate her. I had some leftovers from Friday night. It was the penne a la Betsy. There was about a half a serving left. Very little pasta, but there were a lot of shrimp left. Um, I had that. I'm going to count it as three points, I think. Or I just may put it in the tracker as a whole serving and count it as five because I, I'll have the points today. 
although I've been so picky today. I've been not, I'm not hungry, I'm just picky. So I'm trying to um, nip that in the bud because it's not hunger, it's just pickiness. And it happens once in a while, it happens to everybody. Um, you just have to realize that you're not hungry, you're picky, and you need to put a stop to it. So, or put something out like zero point foods. Um, I did not do a vegetable tray because I need to get a few things. And that's a huge problem for me. When I don't have that vegetable tray on the counter every day, I look for other stuff to pick at. I'm not picking at anything bad, but I'm not picking at things that are great. You know, like a pretzel here and a, I, I don't even know what, I, I don't even know what I've been picking on. That's, you know, and it's the day before weigh-in. I know better. So I do have about 48 ounces of water in. Um, plan on getting the rest of it in about right now. Babies are still sleeping, which is a beautiful thing. Um, actually, they'll be getting picked up in about 15 minutes. So, usually I have to wake them to get picked up, and I always feel so bad about that, but it's not like they're little tiny babies that, you know, you can transfer over. So, anyway. That's that. Um, we're having salmon for dinner, black and salmon. I, I just want easy. <laughs> so we're having black and salmon. Um, I have leftover carrots from the other night that I made. They are like, uh, what are they called? Honey glazed carrots or something like that. They're not zero points because they have butter and honey on them, but very little amount and it made a crap ton. So I point them out as one point per serving. And then um, maybe some rice with it. I think that's what I have on the menu. So Doug has choir practice tonight. Denise asked me to go to this pop-up shoe boutique in the next town over. But I'd like to go for the company just for the social aspect of it. But I do not need shoes. And I know if I go, I will buy shoes. So... I am not going. I'm going to stay home and get some stuff done here. I got my Easter menu all finalized. I do need to get a couple things from the grocery store. Um, but other than that, looking pretty good. So I'll be back probably with my dinner. Okay, I am super munchy today. I don't know why I'm munchy. So I have a couple of strawberries just cut up in a bowl. And I saw this in the grocery store the other day. It was a impulse buy. Yola creamy whipped yogurt topping made with sweetened yogurt. Cream, skim milk, yogurt. Cane sugar, tapioca syrup. I have to look that up. There's carrageenan in it, which doesn't make me happy, but it's listed at the bottom. It is, I think, one point for two tablespoons. I opened it. I tried it. I will never spend $5 on it again. It is not good. It tastes really funky. I fed it to my brother the other night. I thought he was going to vomit. Um, it's not, like, absolutely disgusting, but if you're looking for, yolk, for whipped cream, this isn't it. Just go for the whipped cream. Oh, Okay, sitting down to a very simple dinner tonight. We have blackened salmon that we grilled. It's just a blackened seasoning that I make up myself. I think it's on my website. Then I have rice pilaf. This is three points worth. I didn't do the whole five points worth. And then I have some carrots left over from the other night. These are honey butter carrots or something like that. I've glazed carrots. Um, this is one points worth. So there is my dinner tonight. I almost completely forgot I was recording today. Until just now. I could have had this done two hours ago. But I am done. Um, done eating for the day. Dinner was very delicious. Very quick and easy. Doug is at choir practice. Um, talked to Adam on the phone for a little bit. He's all excited. They got their rooming assignment for next year. Um, he got the apartment 
tower building that he wanted on campus. He'll be rooming with four other guys. Um, so it should be fun. Um, what else? You saw Laura Cluck, we put her out there. It wasn't pretty. They were kinda bothering her through the crate. They would like completely leave her alone, then go over and bother her. She seemed really stressed. We brought her back in, she's back downstairs. We'll take her out a little bit tomorrow. We're just trying to do it little by little to get them used to each other again, reestablish the pecking order. I don't know what we're gonna do when we integrate the new babies. I mean, this is how you do it, but yeah. Um, another thing we may try, depending on how the rest of the week goes, is Thursday night, put her in the coop when everybody's asleep and let them all wake up together and um, see how that goes. That's another way to do it. So I am done. I was working on some projects for a little project for somebody else, not for me. Um, and it's a surprise, so I can't talk about it. Not that they, not that the person that's a surprise for would ever see this, but stranger things have happened. So I am going to call it a night. I think I am going to. Um, Doug will be home in about an hour and a half. I think I might go get a nice, relaxing bath. And tomorrow should be, I only have two tomorrow, Jack and Emmy, and two on Wednesday, Jack and Emmy. And actually tomorrow, I think they're leaving half day because mom has a dental appointment, which works out good because we have to take off tomorrow and go down to Maryland. We are picking Adam up tomorrow night. Well, I was excited because now we could go early, but he has a mandatory meeting at five o'clock. So the minute he's done that meeting, he is jumping in the car and we are heading home. Get him home, get him packed for Florida, and then he goes to the airport Wednesday afternoon. So it's just gonna be a busy week. Um, Doug told me I didn't have to go down with him, but I don't want him driving all the way down. I mean, Adam would be with him on the way back, but I don't want him driving down alone. So we'll go together and I enjoy our time together in the car. So that's that. I will be back tomorrow with a Tuesday tag. Um, and then Wednesday with my weigh-in and meeting topic. Pretty sure I have a gain this week. I feel it. I feel puffy, I feel yucky. So I'm expecting a game. And then we'll see what the rest of the week brings. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to hang out with me. That's that. I will see you all in my next video.